What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at Chainlink here and as we can see, it does finally look like as though we might be cracking these lows. Finally here, coming back down to the bottom of this range again and potentially closing with a low down here below this previous low on the daily time frame. Coming back down at the very least to test that level that we did talk about in yesterday's video at around that 540-ish level. You can see back here, this is where the swing low of this previous wick does come down to in and around this, you know, anywhere between 530 and 540 here. And you can see here with Chainlink, looking like we are closing below for a few days now, below this recent range and the overall range as well. So coming down and actually closing some lower lows finally for Chainlink here, but still looking like we are making these huge bullish divergences, which are, you know, eventually probably going to play out in our opinion. You can see that they did play out back up here when we had, you know, these massive bearish divergences we finally got that you know downtrend and bear market we were looking for and now with Chainlink going sideways for so long now coming down and cracking some new lows you could easily see with these huge bullish uh, bullish divergences here maybe a continuation down and then getting a big reversal you know in the next six to twelve months when we do start to see a bit more bullishness coming back into the market but realistically you would expect that you know Chainlink's got one last leg down in it most likely in our opinion probably down to this level in and around here which is that previous level of resistance flipped into support where the bull market really began for Chainlink here. You can see we came up, we cracked these highs and then we did come up all the way up from around what we up, basically a 10x, wasn't it, from around that 50, that $5 level all the way up to around 55, in between 50 and $55 up here. So a nice 10x from that breakthrough, but obviously from down here, it was more like a 50x, wasn't it? A massive move to the upside for Chainlink. And you can see quite clearly here, we're in a similar situation now, but flipped in reverse, where basically, you know, we've been going sideways for a good while here, now looking for that last leg down for a key bit of support before a bounce. But you can see here, Chainlink definitely coming down and making some new lower lows, chopping it up for a while, grinding at support, which is what we said yesterday. And now you can see finally coming down here to another level, a key level of support here, which is where we've got a little bit of a bounce. But realistically, considering how bearish altcoins have been, we could see a continuation, couldn't we? And if that was the case, we'd be heading down to that level that we specified towards that $5 or just below that $4.50 area. Obviously, $5 a huge psychological, huge psychological support and target that we could be seeing as the next extension to the downside for Chainlink. Obviously, that would be around 90% retracement from the all-time high as well. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching indeed. We are probably looking for more lower lows in the short term for most altcoins, but mid to long term still bullish on crypto in general. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.